Hey guys, um, it has been a really long time since I've had a chance to do a video. Um, I have since moved to a new state and um, I transferred uh, work up here. And I also um, just have had a lot of changes going on and I haven't really had a chance to make a video so I apologize. I am back and um, I was just going to show you guys a what's in my bag video. Um, just because that's pretty easy for me to do and I actually just got this purse last week and I'm so excited. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a Longchamp bag. Um, Longchamp is carried at Nordstrom and then I believe they also have their own um, website that you can go to and it might be carried at other places too, I'm not sure. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's a big tote bag. It's weather resistant. Um, it's pretty plain. Um, and they do run a little spendy for, um, like being as plain as they are, but it is a really good quality. They last for a really long time. Um, so anyways, um, this is my bag. And, um, it's a little horse with a jockey on it for the logo. And then it just says, um, I can't really see, Longchamp. And then this says... Longchamp 1948 with the little seam symbol right there. I love the little logo. It's so cute with that little detail. Um, and then it just has some like leather pieces. This one's the um, nude one or the tan one. Um, they also have a black one that's really popular that you'll see a lot of people wearing. But this is um, the nude one. And this is what the inside of my bag looks like. It's really just really plain. It's a big tote. There's one pocket in here and it's on this side. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. So it looks like that. There's nothing in there right now. I just got this bag last week. So I haven't had a chance to really throw everything in it yet. <laughs> um, okay, let's get started. Um, the first thing that I have in my bag is this book, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, I just started reading it and I've only read a few pages and it's been, we had a lot of people over this last weekend and so it was kind of hard to get into with like a lot of racket going on. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting into it. I hear it's really good. If any of you guys have read it and liked it or had any, have any, um, feedback on it, let me know. Um, so there's that in there. And then next I have, um, my work schedule. That I keep with me. And then this is my wallet. It's a hobo wallet. Um, they carry these at Nordstrom as well. I got this like five years ago. And it says hobo right there. And I've just got some random money and some random little posty notes that I get sometimes in my box. <laughs> um... A gift card for Nordstrom. Um, and then this um, red mango card, a Costco card, um, a Sally's card. I don't even know what this is. Oh, my bus pass for living in Seattle. Everybody takes the bus. It gets a little crazy if you don't. Um, and then... I think that's pretty much it. I have a key card for work in there, my ID, and then just some random things in here. Ulta card, or club card. Okay, so that's what that looks like, and it has this cute little clasp. Um, next, I have. I have this makeup bag, um, but I actually, yeah, there's no makeup in here, it's just a makeup bag <laughs> full of random things. This is kind of like a little survival kit. So I've got a pen. I'm trying to see what I'm doing through the camera so it gets a little weird. I've got eye drops. Um, I have like slight allergies and then also if I'm working like a long day at work my eyes start to burn so it just kind of helps. Um, dental floss, ibuprofen, okay let's see what else is in here, backup eyeliner, so it's just like a cheap one, it's, what is it, 
Jordana um, Easy Liner for Eyes. And then it's just black. It's just like a little backup one. Because I definitely have walked out of the house without um, eyeliner on before. Tweezers. I've got this lip gloss or this chapstick that I got at Target. It was on sale. It's Mediterranean Grape, Olive, and Nectarine. Looks like that. And I've only used this once and it was actually really nice. And it's made by Boots. I think that's the, if you can see that. I don't think you can tell. Boots? Okay. Um, and then also, okay, last things that I've gotten here is a hair tie and some cough drops. So, definitely get some allergies. I've got some random backup things for like the headache that comes along with allergies and all that stuff. Okay, next I've got um, Body Satin Hand Cream in Original Scent. And this is really, really nice. I actually like that there's no scent on this one. Oh, what got on there? I like that there's no scent on this just because um, if you have perfume on and stuff, sometimes it can be overpowering. So for this, for me particularly, I like that there's no scent and I'm working with people all day long. So sometimes people don't like a lot of perfume. Um, so I've got that. And I've got Sexy Little Things. Um, I think this is the body mist. Yeah, the scented body mist. I love this stuff. It smells so nice. And I think this was like $10. It's just a little travel size one. It's actually pretty big, but it's uh, 2.5 ounces. But it's actually pretty big. I've had this for a long time, and that's all I've used. So, okay. I've got my keys for work. And then, the last but not least my bag with all my chapsticks and lipsticks in it. Okay. I have got um, a lipstick by Laura Mercier and it is called Barely Nude. And I will do a um, lipstick tutorial later. This um, red Radical Cherry by Prestige like lip gloss. This is a teeth whitener um, pen. I've got this, uh, Burt's Bees, I think it's a Medic Lifeguard's Choice waterproofing lip balm. I love this stuff because it's actually white, so it's actually almost like a nude. Satin Lips by Mary Kay. Uh, Baby Sparks lip gloss, very sparkly. Um, Wildly Lush. It's just a nude and it kind of looks weird, but it literally is just a nude um, like cream sheen. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, that's what that looks like. I've got Laura Mercier Bare Peach and this one's kind of shimmery, but it looks really good with the Laura Mercier lipstick I have. I don't know if you can see that. This is a cheap one. I think it's like, oh, it is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild, it doesn't even give a name, it's 902C. It's just a nude um, lipstick. I have Viva Glam by Lady Gaga, it's the pink one. I'll show you this one just cause. The pink colored one. And then last but not least, I have the Sally Girl um, red lipstick, it's just a mini tube. It's very tiny. Um, I think the reason I got this is I wanted red lipstick for an outfit one night and I just so happened to be at Sally's so I just grabbed it to test it out. See if I liked red lipstick on me. Um, and that's it. My bag is empty. I don't really have a lot. I'll probably add more in the next week or so just because I just got this bag. Um, but that's it. Thanks guys so much. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and I will make more videos so you guys can watch them. Thanks.